Okay, so we have our existing structures, our inlets and manhole, drawn. Let's go ahead and put in our existing pipes. Come up here to drainage, layout, uh, click on the pipe tab, and number your pipe. In this case, this is pipe number one. Select elevations from invert, come down here and put in, click on options and to put in your pipe properties. Uh, circular, existing concrete, which was set. Uh, let's start off with a 12 inch pipe and click apply, close, and click this target selector button next to the upstream ID and let's zero in on inlet one select inlet one data point to accept and click the target button next to downstream ID and let's select on inlet two data point to accept and at this point you can change your inverts or your slope um, let's go ahead and hold our 0.1 percent slope and let's put in an invert in of 197 inroads automatically sets the invert out based on the slope and go ahead and click apply and it draws your pipe now you see inlet 2 is automatically populated in the upstream ID field so let's click the downstream ID and let's click on inlet 4 data point to accept and click apply pipe is drawn and now inlet 4 is set as the upstream ID however we're gonna draw our next pipe from inlet 3 to inlet 4 so click on the upstream ID let's select inlet 3 data point to accept select the downstream ID select inlet 4 data point to accept click apply and the pipe is drawn and inlet 4 is once again our upstream ID so go ahead and click on downstream ID let's select our manhole data point to accept click apply and now you see our manhole 1 is now our upstream ID and let's go from manhole 1 to inlet 5 let's come down here to options and change the size of our pipe this one is uh, let's say it is an 18 inch pipe select 18 inch click apply close select our downstream structure ID inlet 5 data point to accept apply and now let's draw our pipe that goes from inlet 5 to inlet 6 uh, let's click on options change the size let's say this one is a 30 inch pipe let's click apply and then close you see our inlet 5 is automatically our upstream ID let's click our downstream ID click on inlet 6 data point to accept and yeah, we can yeah, let's change our invert into yeah, let's say 194 which automatically changes our invert out let's go ahead and click apply and click close and there's our existing drainage network with our inlets, our manhole, and our existing pipes. Now let's come up here, file, save, drainage data, and it's probably a good idea to go ahead and update your project file as well. And there's our existing drainage network. Uh, the next task is to annotate it.